the FDA just recently approved the very first blood test for diagnosing Alzheimer's disease. Now we have really exciting tools that enable us to look at the various proteins that are changing in the blood and the cerebral spinal fluid long before people develop symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Compared to an invasive spinal tap or an expensive PET scan, a blood draw can be performed at any lab and that blood can be shipped to a central lab and you can now make the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease in a very timely manner. I've been working in this field for a really long time and the whole goal was to try to find ways of trying to help patients. This is high-risk research. The funding for this comes mainly from the federal government, from NIH, and it has been very critical in funding studies of aging and Alzheimer's disease all over the U.S. and all over the world. It's a very exciting moment to see that the things that we're doing are really going to make a difference in the near term in people's lives.